All right, so in part two, all we're gonna do is we're just gonna click Visual Studio, my underscore game, and you'll see the same exact thing you had before. But now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go File, New, File, and we're just gonna do a text file, and click Open, and you're just gonna have this blank document. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna click Save, File, Save text file dot one text as and in your UDK directory development source you're gonna go back to your my underscore game because that's the folder that we're gonna have all of our stuff stored in and we're gonna create a new folder and it's just gonna be named classes so just like that and inside here we're gonna name this my underscore game type and then dot uc the UC is very important or else it won't read as the same file. So just click save. And this is parsing. Alright. So now when we exit or close the solution, save it, and then reopen it. Development source. SLN. You have a my game folder right here. And inside it you have a classes folder that you just created. And inside it you have a UC file that you just created. And when you see it, it's right here. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create another file. And from now on it's really easy. You just right click classes, click add new item. And then you just click Unreal Script File. A mutator is kind of like it does what it says, it mutates or alters slightly something, like a weapon or something. And this is a weapon to make a weapon class, and these are all Kismet and stuff like that. Unreal Script is like a basic file um, for as much freedom as you want. But uh, what we're going to type here is my underscore game and then pawn, just like that. So this is going to give you this. Um, this is just the basics of the um, script and what it's going to extend is ut pawn just like that and then in my game type what you can do is you can copy this and then just change this to my game and then rename it to type so it matches the name of the file and then this is going to extend ut deathmatch which is the basic game type of Unreal, and then right here. All right, so all we have to do is type in default and no spaces here. Pawn class, and then set that equal to class, and then you're gonna add uh, apostrophes, and then right here is where your pawn goes, and we just made this pawn right here. So we're going to put the default pawn as my game oh, underscore game pawn. All right. So now what we're going to have to do is we're going to save all. And if we go into UDK game config, we have to go into default engine udk.ini. Just open that up, and you're going to get a whole bunch of crap. And what you're going to want to look for is um, Unreal Ed dot Editor Engine for one of these titles right here. So if we go to Unreal Ed dot Editor Engine right here, you're going to see Mod Edit Package right here like this. All you have to do is get rid of the semicolon, just like that. And we're going to change the name to the name of our game. So my underscore game just like that and save all again and there's one last step and just to make sure what we're gonna do is we're gonna exit out and save and then we're gonna reload front end just like before and what we should we're gonna do is we're gonna script full recompile and if we get any errors errors we're gonna have to go back and fix them basically
All right, so it succeeded. And if yours didn't succeed, just go and run back through the video and see what you can do to change it. Um, so what next is we're going to open Visual Studios and actually run the game, basically. And whenever you do something in Visual Studios, whenever you start altering the files around and changing stuff up, you can exit out of this. Um, minimize that. It's a little clustered. Um, whenever you're like editing and adding code to these, all you're going to do is before you want to test it, you just click build up in the top and then rebuild solution and down here it'll show you the progress and this shouldn't take too long alright so it says succeeded right here which it should if you got that succeeded from front end and then what you do is you just click this little play button here and what it's gonna do is it's gonna debug or run through the code and basically start it it's going to initialize all the code that's over here on the left. So you're going to see a whole bunch of crap, and then it's going to load the game, basically. And you just, it's just Unreal Engine right here, Unreal Tournament. And you can just play the game. And you're going to see in the log in the top left everything that's going on. So all you have to do to end this is just type the little um with the uh little squiggly or the like infinite sign or in the top left above tab or under escape you just type exit and it exits and there you go guys uh it basically showed you how to set up unreal script in visual studio 2010 with the newest version to date of unreal um the udk basically and in the future, I plan on doing Unreal Script turn or Unreal Script tutorials, but I'm only only 16, so don't know everything right now. And I'm working on it. I'll probably be releasing tutorials in the future, though, definitely. And uh, have a good day, I guess.